Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word. And the Daily Prophetic Word for the 31st of December 2019 is Equality and Humility. Act in unity and equality. Nobody is elevated in front of me. Humble yourself and take your cross to follow me. Equality and humility is a treat of my bride. My bride is supporting one another and lift up the needy and nameless. Equality and humility. My true sons and daughters are humble and serve me with all of their soul, heart and mind. They walk with me wherever I go and all are serving me equally. Come together in love, unity and support in my true church, the dwelling places of Zion, my home churches that I place in all nations. Equality and humility. Always remember that all are equal who walk the righteous and narrow path to eternal life. All are equally blessed with the Holy Spirit and all are walking equally in my power and glory. Humble yourself before me and my Father and before the Holy Spirit and understand that your crowns are ready for you in paradise. My true church is a humble church and I will bless her abundantly. This was the daily prophetic word given by the Holy Spirit for the 31st of December 2019. Quality and humility. Nobody is elevated before the Lord. And no matter how your position will be, an elder to, to guide a dwelling place of Zion, a home church, or anything else, we are all equal. You have received maybe a special spiritual gift but that does not make you better than any of the other members. We are all equal and we act, we act in one accord and we will always do everything together as a huge family and all the home churches that we establish the dwelling places of Zion will be connected together as a huge family. The family of the Lord, the two sons and daughters of the Most High, and the perfect bride of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, this is the turning point now, going to 2020. I wish you a blessed night, but next tomorrow, pray, start to pray that you will start a home church in 2020, that you will be part of this network, that you will be part of a dwelling place of Zion, that will be part of the narrow and righteous path that will lead to the holy mountain that's not carved by human hands, to Mount Zion, where, we will, where you will be raptured into paradise at the sixth year. Now it's your time to establish the home church. Now it's your time to come forward. Please also listen to the video I made today in the Great Exodus series. It will explain more and there you'll see a lot of zeal for 2020 and why 2020 is important, so please watch it. I wish you a great night and a happy new year, but I will see you again tomorrow and I hope that you pray to Jesus and you pray to the Father and you ask him that you can start right now and build a family, the family of the Lord in your houses, a home church, a dwelling place of Zion, and that you join the network of all the home churches in the world that we establish in all nations and on all continents. Now, 2020, it's the open door. It's a time when we speak forward, when everything will be manifested. This is a time not only of triple grace, because names are nothing. This is a time of the bride of Jesus Christ. This is a time of the two sons and daughters of the Most High. But always remember, stay humble and in equality. We are all equal. None of us is elevated before the Lord. And in a home church, everybody together will make the decisions. Yes, there are two elders, a man and a woman that will guide the dwelling place. But they will not receive more power than the members. We are all equal. And we all have one in accord, one accord. And this one accord is to spread the gospel of the kingdom and the gospel of the kingdom alone and to win souls, to bring in the harvest of the ages. 
So I wish you a pleasant night. Please do not overdo it. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow for the next Daily Prophetic Word. Have a blessed night and a great start in 2020. Maranatha.